deposition of uh, former Albany Bishop Howard Hubbard, who served in that role from 1977 to 2014, has now been made public after attempts to conceal it by his lawyers. Here to break down what was said in that deposition is News 10 ABC's Connell Smith. Connell. Trishna and John, last April over several days, Bishop Emeritus Howard Hubbard was questioned about the Diocese of Albany's handling of child sex abuse during his tenure, as well as allegations against himself, which forced him to take a leave of absence in 2019. Between 1977 and 2002, Bishop Howard Hubbard said he was aware of 11 priests who had been accused of sexually assaulting children. During his tenure, the former bishop sent some of those priests away for treatment. Upon return, some were sent back to their parish, others transferred. But in each case, Hubbard never made parishioners aware their priest was accused of sexual assault, nor was law enforcement involved. A playbook employed by him to protect the reputation of the diocese, uh, to collaborate and coordinate with all the other bishops in New York, and to effectively protect the priests and himself and all the others um, who are offending kids, not just recently, but spanning decades. In his own words, the former bishop says by not reporting sexual abuse claims to law enforcement, he was hoping to avoid scandal and retain the, quote, respect for the priesthood. When asked by an attorney why he did not inform parishioners about troubled priests, Hubbard said, quote, by the standards I was using in the 70s and 80s, I didn't think that was a necessity. He made the decisions to protect one offender after another. Hubbard also acknowledged that documents pertaining to abuse allegations were kept in sealed files in accordance with the church's canon law. In response to the deposition being made public, the Diocese of Albany says, quote, Our priority is the protection and assistance of victims and survivors and the discovery of the truth. The wounds persist. The accompaniment continues. The denial and cover-up does not. As we stated earlier, while we cannot offer detailed information on historic events that occurred long ago, we can with absolute conviction say that the Roman Catholic Catholic Diocese of Albany takes all allegations of abuse seriously and remains committed to uncovering the truth without fear or favor. Former Bishop Hubbard faces allegations of sexual abuse himself, though he denies those claims. Attorney Jeff Anderson says with the deposition being made public, it's a big win for victims and victim advocates. If you would like to read the full deposition, which is a couple hundred pages long, head to News10.com. Reporting in studio, Connell Smith, News10, ABC.